multimodal models are becoming mainstream by multimodal i mean the models or large language models which can deal in text or images video audio and lot of other formats that is what multimodal is in a very exciting news now olama which is one of my favorite tools to run large language models locally so the olama has now support for multimodal models in this video i am going to show you how you can use multimodal model lava with olama locally on your own system i'll be using my trusted ubuntu server and i already have 22.04 installed which has 1 gpu of 16 gp vram so let's get started let me clear my screen and also let me get out of this conda environment because i'm not going to use it for this purpose okay now first thing we need to do is to install olama if you already have olama i would suggest doing it again because olama has just released this new capability of multimodal just couple of days ago okay so this is a command to install the olama after downloading it and you can see that how quick it is and it has already detected my nvidia gpu awesome stuff and olama is installed now which is awesome let me clear my screen and i already have couple of images here and i'll show you the so i just have this ga.png image which is good which i'm going to use with my lava model but first let's download this lava model and the command to do it is simple this ola olama run lava which is going to download it first time let me enter it and it is going to download all the layers of lava and you can see that how quick it is it is just 4.1 gig so let's wait for it to download shouldn't take too long and then you will get the olama prompt there you go so all the layers are being downloaded and that is the beauty of olama now it is verifying the checksum and you can see that olama has downloaded the model let's check the help here simply type slash question mark and it is going to show you the help here now in order to um, use this you can see that it is already telling you that use pass to file to include jpg or png images which you can do for example um i'm going to just ask it describe the image and then the image path okay so i'm not entirely sure that if the, uh, whether i need to write uh, the whole olama run or would it work like this let's try it out so uh, i'm going to use this ga.png and let me quickly show you how does that image look like first so this is the image so it is the thumbnail of my own youtube video with some text and my own um picture so let's see how it works in ubuntu so i'm just asking you to describe the image home ubuntu and image path wow okay so it is working there you go so it is telling us that image shows a person standing in front of an item which appears to be a stainless steel refrigerator <laughs> it's a phone the individual is wearing a dark top that's right and has the right arm raised slightly above the waist which is correct let me show you the there you go behind them there is a samsung galaxy oh wow okay so where does it getting the refrigerator i'm not sure anyway so and it has correctly identified the s21 ultra smartphone permanently displayed that's good and then to the left of the phone there is a silver logo with three holes here yeah, it's, it's a camera the overall style of the image suggests it might be related to technology or product review that's cool let me say is there any text in image if yes what's the text and give let me give it the whole home ubuntu ga.png let's see what it says here the image displayed here and on which the text what is galaxy ai yep that's correct so beautiful so it is 
very very intelligently it has detected the text awesome stuff okay let's try out another image now let me load the image quickly and show you so this is the image i'm going to use so in this one this is simply an llm ops um, or you know llm secops pipeline where there are few steps one two three four five and there's a lot of text with some of the icons so let's see if the image is able to identify this let's go back to our ubuntu system and then let me just change it like pipeline.png that is the name of the image there you go it is oops it is still checking the old one which is not good okay so i am would what would i have to do would i have to reload it or okay so it is i have given it a new image uh describe the new image nope it is still referring to the old one so sh should i just exit from here or quit oh wow okay so now it has just hallucinating about it maybe quit maybe this this okay let's do the buy and get out of here now let's run olaba here again and describe the image and then home ubuntu and my pipeline.png okay so maybe it's not even here maybe it's my fault let's see uh, where is pipeline oh wow i haven't even added it that is funny let me check if i have added the image or not okay so i actually my fault i actually uploaded it into the wrong one so in that case it doesn't give an error it simply just says that it just refers to the other one okay but in the new one um, in my new session it was able to detect that the file doesn't exist that is fine let me do it now there you go so now it is correct so it is saying that the image shows a screenshot of the web page or an informational graphic with a brown background on the left side of the image there is a list titled our ai powered pipeline to automate that is correct vulnerability fixing let me show you again yep so you can see that perfect spellings perfect everything and then it is telling us that workflow or process and how cool is that it was able to detect that it's a workflow that is what intelligence is and then all the six steps let's check if there are six steps nope so this is again so there are five steps uh, not the six one so but model is saying there are six steps okay uh, so this is one mistake but that is fine and then it is saying that the overall style of the image is simple and educational aimed at explaining how an ai driven process for fixing vulnerability works awesome stuff so this is correct and uh, let me ask bit hard question about the same image so i'm going to ask it what is the maybe i'll just ask it what is the picture uh, in the yellow icon okay let's see maybe i'll just say here what is the picture or uh, what is the object what is the object in yellow icon in the image let's see the image oops okay so it's okay let's see is there is there any yellow icon in the image that's correct what object does this yellow icon has within circle okay what this icon represents
okay so i think it is unable to detect what exactly in that maybe i'll just hint it is that a bag is that uh is that object a bag or briefcase in yellow icon let's see but you can see how intelligently the model responds it does it says no it's just a colorful icon so model doesn't think that it's a bag or a briefcase or anything i mean how cool is that now let me um try out one last one so i have another image which is already there so maybe i'll just ask this without even exiting i'm just going to say this is my own picture which i uh, this is just a profile picture i'll just say describe the image describe the new image maybe just to tell it there you go so it is adding the image yep that is correct so now it, it is able to um, switch the context to the new picture which is correct it is a photograph of a person likely taken in an indoor setting such an office or a room with a purple wall behind them the individual is facing the camera and smiling slightly at the viewer they are wearing a dark color t-shirt and have short hair that is correct